Hi, this is Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the Adobe Analytics Fall 2016 release. The Fall 2016 release will be available as of October 20th, 2016 to all Adobe Analytics solution owners. This release includes a number of exciting improvements including customer journey visualization, intelligent alerts based on anomaly detection, histogram visualizations, and much more. So let's dive in and see exactly what's in this release. The first improvement falling under the category of customer journey visualization is fallout in Analysis Workspace. Uh, fallout in Analysis Workspace is similar to fallout that you may have seen in reports and analytics or ad hoc analysis, but with a number of key advantages, uh, including the ability to embed fallout in your analysis workspace projects and the ability to mix and match dimensions and metrics. Fallout is great for showing how customers move through key workflows on your site or in your mobile app or across any channel where you're measuring data in Adobe Analytics. Uh, so you can add the different touch points in, the, in these workflows as, uh, as items in Fallout and then view the percentage of your customers who move from step to step in that process. So you can see where they're running into roadblocks or where they're being successful, where you're being successful, moving them along to conversion. Um, so anytime you want to show movement through a funnel or, uh, or you know, any key workflow, Fallout is a great way to do that and very, very easily and, and sort of in an easy to interpret way show how people are converting to the end of that, to the end of that workflow. As I mentioned, you can mix and match different types of touch points. So it doesn't have to be page to page to page. It can be from a certain page to a certain site section to a certain conversion event or metric to a marketing channel. Uh, you really have a lot of flexibility here with this fallout view because we know that not all uh, not all key workflows that you care about, not all key parts of your customer experiences can be measured in terms of page to page to page or site section to site section to site section. So fallout has you covered for all of that stuff. And that's in analysis workspace uh, as of the fall 2016 release. Going right along with Fallout is Flow, and Flow takes a slightly different uh, view of these key workflows by letting you show uh, visually how people are moving across different uh, touch points. So uh, here in this screenshot, we're showing how people are moving from um, page to page to page, and you can see that there are sort of um, overlapping paths where uh, people are sort of converging on subsequent steps in this path and you can visualize all of this really easily with with flow. Um, so you can do this uh, from an entry perspective or you can show how people are moving up to a certain exit point and the great thing about flow is that it's iterative and as you click on different touch points in this visualization, you'll see that it will expand out and allow you to kind of continue discovering the journey that your customers are on across your sites and your apps. And again, this is in Analysis Workspace and can be included in any of your projects in Analysis Workspace uh, and laid out however you want to tell the story that you're trying to tell about your customers and what they're doing and how they're engaging with your brand. Next, we have intelligent alerts. Um, we have improved alerting capabilities in Adobe Analytics by basing alerts on anomaly detection. And the advantage of that is that anomaly detection will use your own historical data to uh, predict the A value for any metric and then uh, give you an alert if, your, if that metric is above or below the expected range, which means that uh, your alerts will be more relevant. They will represent um, actual statistically significant spikes or dips in the metrics that matter most to you. 
Um, this helps ensure that you're not receiving alerts that are false positives or that are distracting or that cause you to ignore alerts because maybe you get too many of them. So uh, it, anomaly detection helps greatly in that regard. Um, we've also allowed you to have greater control over your alerts by um, including multiple metrics and multiple segments and dimensions in a single alert so that you can create themed alerts which again prevent you from getting too many different emails or too many SMS messages with these updates with these alerts so that what you do receive is highly relevant and you know that when Adobe alerts you on something it's important and that you should you can look into it uh, and and understand what's happening with your customers and with your marketing. On that topic of anomaly detection, we've added anomaly detection and contribution analysis to analysis workspace. And we've done more than simply add them. We've made anomaly detection automatic so that whenever you view data over time, over a period of time, whether it's hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly, uh, anomalies will automatically be detected and shown in your data tables as well as in your line graphs. As you can see here in the screenshot, we've detected a series of anomalies during uh, what I believe is the month of August, and those are called out directly on this graph, and I can see the expected range in that green area, and I can see the, uh, the actual values in the, the dark green line. And if I mouse over any of these anomalies, it will tell me exactly how far above or below the expected value the, uh, my, my metric was for that day. Uh, and in this screenshot, you can see that I was 36% below expected. I'll probably want to know why I was 36% below expected, and I can do that simply by right-clicking on that data point and running a contribution analysis. And that contribution analysis will scan all of my metrics and will tell me what factors likely contributed, my metrics and my dimensions, and will tell me what factors likely contributed to that decrease, in this case, uh, of revenue on that date. And that will answer that why question for me so that I can go solve that problem or uh, do more of whatever is working. Uh, and that contribution analysis will also be included directly in Analysis Workspace, so I won't have to go anywhere else to get that deep insight that comes from the machine learning in, con in contribution analysis. Uh, starter projects. We've added a series of templates to Analysis Workspace to allow you and your users to get started on analysis if you're not sure maybe how to begin answering your questions. So uh, when you go to Analysis Workspace and you are on that project launch page, you'll see down the left side a series of templates. And those templates are organized by business question. So uh, for example, you can start with things like mobile acquisition or uh, retail conversion. And uh, even if you're not sure what your next question is, these Templates will give you a series of pre-built visualizations and data tables that you can use to start to start to explore and start to understand the answer to the problem that you're trying to solve. Uh, you can continue to customize these and do whatever you want with them and save them as, as customized projects, uh, but they'll certainly help you get started and they'll help your users get started, uh, especially uh, if, you're, if your colleagues uh, maybe don't know what, uh, what they want to do to get uh, wh where they want to go to start answering their questions. And that may describe, may describe you, and it often describes me as well. So I will be using starter projects heavily myself. We've added histograms to Analysis Workspace. Um, histograms are a great way to visualize the distribution of your uh, of your customers or your, or your audience. Um, they allow you to, uh, to visualize distribution and show uh, where your high value and low value users are um, across any metric. Uh, and so you have a lot of control here with these histograms in Analysis Workspace to customize them and, and um, build them uh, against any metric and view that distribution um, sort of breakout 
averages into more actionable, uh, more actionable data. Next, we have a new first-time customer experience. So, for new customers of Adobe Analytics, uh, this is a new. This is an experience that will help uh, help you once you've been set up with an Adobe Analytics account to create your first report suite and uh, do your first basic implementation uh, on your site or in your mobile app, uh, and then you can build out that implementation from there with the help of uh, Adobe Consulting or any um, any Adobe uh, Consulting partner, and you can uh, you can uh, use this to uh, to get data flowing into your account quickly and uh, and start to understand both how to use Adobe Analytics as well as start to do some analysis on your customers even before you uh, go through the process of gathering requirements and building out. You, and uh, building out a full implementation. And this is integrated with DTM, so it's very easy to get up and running with an implementation using DTM, using Adobe's tag management solution. Uh, coming a little bit later in uh, November 2016, we, we will be adding date comparisons in Analysis Workspace. Comparisons, of course, give you the ability to show how you are improving or maybe not improving, uh, but but that ability to compare against a previous date range is key to understanding success and understanding uh, whether you're moving in the right direction and and uh, what to do about it. So uh, the the key here is that we've made it really easy, uh, not just to compare dates, but to 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 with a, a couple of clicks to do the most common comparisons, things like month over month. Uh, you know, am I am I improved over last month or or not? Uh, week over week, year over year, quarter over quarter. These these very common comparisons will be very accessible in Analysis Workspace, so that you can uh, visualize them. And and we have a uh, a the ability to show uh, the change between two the between these two different uh, periods. Uh, so that is included in there as well in Analysis Workspace. And again, uh, meant to be configured with just a couple of clicks uh, automatically. Um, we will also be improving segmentation in a couple of key ways. Uh, first, we will be allowing you to uh, do dynamic date ranges in segments. So this lets you define a segment such as uh, show me all visitors who converted last month. And last month is a rolling date range uh, in a segment in this case. And so as time progresses, you can continue to use that segment to show last month, even as last month changes, uh, right? To, you know, today, last month is September. Next month, last month will be October. And so this, this will allow you to build those segments. And this, this will uh, empower you to do things like rolling averages. Um, in, in calculated metrics so that you can include those in your reporting and in your analysis. We'll also allow you to define a sequential segment and show the data that uh, returns before or after that segment was completed by a user. So for example, you may want to uh, see what people were doing before they uh, before they completed a particular workflow like a shopping cart process. Um, this will allow you to define that shopping cart process and then say, show me everything that visitors were doing before they entered that shopping cart process. Uh, last but certainly not least, as you may have seen, we will be improving permissions in Analysis Works or in Adobe Analytics so that you will be able to do things like set permissions on custom conversion variables, um, any dimension, any tool or feature in Adobe Analytics. Um, we are also uh, preparing to allow you to manage users more effectively in uh, across all of the Adobe clouds, the marketing cloud, the creative cloud, and the document cloud um, in one place so that you can better manage access to all of these different tools uh, and that is coming soon. We are very excited about this fall release that uh, we've just walked through. Um, we hope that you will find 
many of these features extremely valuable in helping you under, better understand your customers, your marketing, your content, um, everything that you're measuring in Adobe Analytics. Thank you very much and happy analyzing.